Let's see. All right, good morning. My name is Heather Moore. I'm with the YMCA of York in York County. I am here this morning. You're gonna be doing an AOA class. Um, what you're gonna to need today, and I'm gonna fix my camera here. What you're gonna to need today is a set of free weights, a water bottle and a chair that is sturdy. So I had to quickly bring it inside. Um, so I'll be on carpet. So when I'm doing all my exercises today, I'm gonna to make sure I'm lifting my feet. So if you're on carpet, do the same thing. And I'm gonna give it uh, one more minute to see if anyone else. Okay, so let's find, here's my music. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and hopefully some more people um, hop on, but let's get started. All right, you're back behind your chair. For the purpose of this live stream, I'm going to be either at the side of my chair or in front, just so you can see my feet. If I go behind my chair, you won't be able to see my feet. We're marching right and left. Start moving those arms, swing those arms. Getting your knees up as high as you feel comfortable. If you wanna keep them nice and low like I have, where I am right now, go ahead and do that. If not, if you wanna bring it higher, bring it higher. Let's take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs. Let that breath out nice and slow. Another deep breath in. And let it out. Shoulder rolls, rear, lead with your elbows. You want really big circles here. One more rear, we're gonna bring those circles forward, leading with your elbows. One more rear, arms up this side, circles. And reverse, go the opposite direction. Bring your arms out in front, circles inward. And out. Good, drop your arms down, pump those arms. Bring that march up a little bit higher if you had it low. March out wide. Bring it back to center. I'm coming forward. You stay behind your chair. We're going to side step. Right, left, right, left. Remember, you're looking at my feet. I'm on carpet. I'm lifting. I'm not sliding my feet. Keep breathing, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more single each side, then we're going into doubles right here. One, two, pump your arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades when you're pumping your arms back. Double. One more double each side. Last one, back to your singles. One more single each side, back to your march. March out wide. Keep that core brace, drop nice and tall. Staying wide, slow your feet, let's hold up. Big circles. Pull that belly button into your spine and pull it around. We're opening up our hips. Keep breathing. One more time around this way. Now reverse. Go the opposite direction. Keeping that core braced. Keep breathing. One more time around. Good. Back into your march. March out wide, stay wide. 
soon as the next song starts, we're going into hamstring curl, starting with our right. Here we go, right, left. Push your arms back, six more each side. Two more each side. Last one each side, knee lift right. Bring it up, drive that knee up. Brace that core. Six more each side. Five. Two more each side. Last one each side, hamstring curl right. Left, right, left. Give me six more. Two more each side. Last one each side, knee lift right, bring it up. Up, bringing your knees up as high as you feel comfortable. Six more each side. And march. Nicely done, that should have brought your heart rate up. Coming forward so you can see what I'm doing. We're going into a heel dig. Push, push, push. You're pushing your arms down. Dig that heel into the carpet, into the ground. Now, palms facing up. Bicep curl. Keep digging that heel in. Four more each side. And three. Two. One. You're going into a march. Our base move, we always come back to that march. March out wide. Stay wide. Slow your feet and push your door. You're rotating from the hip. Push that door shut. Bringing that arm all the way across your body. Push. Right, left, right, left. You got it. Four more each side. Three. Last one each side. Now arm comes up. Heart rates will come up a little more here because we're lifting overhead. So really reach. Up, up. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Four more each side. Three. Two. One. Back across your body. Push. So you're slamming that door shut. Your hands are open. Four, three, two, one. We're going back up. Bring that arm up. Really reach up out of that rib cage. Give me four more each side. Three, two. One, now double arms for eight. Four, three, two, one, march it out. That should have brought your heart rate up. We are gonna kick in four, three, two, one, kick me right, left. So you're kicking and you're reaching with the opposite hand. Opposite foot, opposite hand. Give me four, three, two, one. March it out. We are nice and warm. We're ready for a little bit of interval training. We're gonna go ahead and do our 30 seconds all out, 15 second recovery. I have five different workout or different workouts for you today that we'll run through three times. So if you need your drink, reach down, grab that drink, get ready for it. All right, up first, I will show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna up, two, three, four, bring it up on your toes, speed bag, two, three, four, back. Up on your toes, speed bag. Everyone ready? Get ready, we're going in three, two, one, up, two, three, four, speed back, two, three, four, back. Up on your toes, speed back. Up, speed back, back, speed back. 
Now, if it's too much reaching overhead, bring your speed bag right here. If not, you're up. Back. Right here, speed bag two, three, four, and march it out. That was your 30 seconds. Let's work our core a little. Up next, while you're recovering, you still have five seconds. What we're gonna do is high knee to elbow. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Going in two, one, get ready, go. Keep that core braced. If you cannot lift your knee this high, that's fine. Do what you can. But if you can bring that knee up to that elbow, keeping that belly button pulled into your spine, you're trying to get your heart rate up. Now, if you need to slow it down, slow it down. You need to speed it up, speed it up. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and march it out. 15 second recovery. You recover. I'm gonna show you what's coming up next. It's an active recovery, so you're still marching. What we're gonna do is side step, squat, center, side step, squat, get ready, go. Side step, squat, back to center, side step, squat. So your weight is in your heels, your butts are back, your knees are not going over your toes, and you're not leaning forward. You're up nice and tall. Pretend like you're getting ready to sit in a chair. Sit, squat down, center. Squat, one more. Squat, good, active recovery. March it out. We're going back into our squats, but we're gonna progress it a little for balance work. Make sure you're near that chair. So what we're gonna do is squat, lift right, squat, lift left. Here's your 30, let's go. Set that form, engage that core. Squat, lift, squat, lift. See, we're challenging our balance, working our core, working our lower body. Brace that core. Get close to that chair so you can grab it if you need to. Keep breathing, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're halfway there. Push. Woo! I know you guys are doing great. Five more seconds. And march. 15 second recovery. Up next is gonna be jump rope. But instead of coming up on our toes, we're gonna do heel toe, or heel toe. So you're rocking back. Get ready, going in two, one, go. If you need to grab the chair, grab the chair. It's a little bit of balance work. That'll be our five and we're starting again from the top. We're halfway there. You don't need to hold onto the chair, don't. You're going heel toe, heel toe. Up heels, back on your toe. You got it. Five more seconds. And march it out. That really challenges your balance if you're having any balance issues. We're gonna start from the top, back into our march with the speed bag. It's up four or two if you don't have the space. Speed bag, back, here we go. Up, two, three, four, toes, two, three, four, back. Bring it up, toes, back. Keep breathing, your heart rate really comes up here. Bring it up on your toes. Bring it back. Bring it up. You're not jumping, you're coming up on your toes. And stop, march it out. Wonderful, we're going back into our core. Our high knees to elbows. You never wanna stop for your recovery, it's active. You can march, you can sidestep. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, get ready. Let's do it, high knee elbow. This is your workout. So you can speed this up, you can slow it down. You're close to your chair. So if you need to grab that chair, you can. Our goal in our 30 seconds, get your heart rate up. This is all low impact. Keep breathing, three. Two, 
One, recover. Nicely done. Up next is our side squats. Come to the front of the chair so you can see them. We got five seconds of recovery. All right, here we go. Step to the side, squat down like you're sitting in a chair. Bring it back to center. Step, squat, brace that core. Shoulders are down and back. Your knees are not going over your toes. So look down at your toes to make sure your knees are not going over your toe. If I'm moving too fast for you, slow it down. If I'm moving too slow for you, you can speed it up and march. That was your 30 seconds. Up next is our squat with our knee lift. So make sure you're near your chair so you can hold it. A little bit of balance work with our core. Get ready. Here we go. You're squatting down, bringing those knees up. Squat down, legs are up. So your feet are hip distance apart or wider to keep your good form. Squat down. Keep breathing. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're starting to pant. We only got five more seconds. Good. March it out. Last one is our jumping jump rope. Heel toe. Then we'll start from the top. That'll be our last round. Coming in three, two, one. Here we go. Jump rope, heel toe. Now, grab that chair whenever you need it. This is really one that challenges that balance, that heel toe. If not, you're using both hands. You can double touch, take them out. Keep breathing. I don't want you holding your breath. I know we're concentrating with our heel toe, but no holding that breath. Three, two, one, march. All right, starting from the top. We got 10 seconds, then it's march four, speed bag, back four, speed bag, or two if you don't have enough space. Here we go. Bring it up on your toes. Back. Up on the toes. Front. Bring it up on your toes. Back. If lifting overhead is too much, remember, you can always come here. Keep breathing. I know your heart rate's coming up on this one. Mine is. You're doing great. Last one. And march it out. You're doing wonderful. All right. High knee to elbow. It's core time. Going in five. Slow those feet. Here we go. Up, up. Keep breathing. You don't want to hold your breath for this one. I know sometimes when we're working our core, we want to hold our breath. We're not doing it. Modification. Keep your knees a little bit lower. If you can, bring them all the way up. Woo! Let's go. You got three, two, one. March it out. We got squats coming up. You're behind the chair. You're going to get sick of me saying that. I'm coming forward so you can see me. All right, slow your feet. Feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider. Squat, center, squat, center. Step out, squat, back to center. Come on, push your shoulders down and back. Make sure that core is braced. Look down at your toes. You don't want to hurt yourself. Your knees are not going over your toes. We have five more seconds. Wonderful, march it out. We got our squats with our leg lifts next. We're gonna challenge that balance again, so slow your feet down. Feet, hip distance apart or wider, shoulders down and back. Squat down, lift the right leg. Squat down, lift the left. Keep breathing, don't hold that breath. 
Come on. Modification. Maybe you're not going as deep as me with the squat. Do what you can. This is your workout. Just keep good form. That's the most important thing. And march it out. That 30 seconds went by really quick. All right, up next, modified jump rope, heel, toe. I'm sorry, toe, heel. Here we go. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Maybe you want to double dash. Maybe this is really challenging your balance and you need to grab that chair. That's fine. Do what you need to do. Heel, toe. You can speed it up. I'm going a little slow so I can concentrate on my form. And march. Wonderful. You made it through that interval. Grab a drink. Towel off. Maybe you don't need to towel off. My house is cold. My husband and daughter have air conditioning up. But I'm going to grab a drink with you. We're going to move on to biceps next. Now, if you're tired from that and you want to do your biceps in the chair, that's absolutely fine. Anything we do stand, standing can be, do, be done in the chair. If not, let's carefully reach down under that chair, grab your weights. If you don't have weights, you can do range of motion. You can use water bottles, soup cans, whatever you have. Take your shoulders, bring them up to your ears, down and back. Core is braced, you have soft knees, never locking out any of our joints. Soft knees. Palms are facing the ceiling. Here we go. It's a full bicep curl all the way up to your shoulders. Give me eight. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two. On the last one, I want you to hold up. We're going to decelerate just halfway. So drop them down halfway. Bring them up. Down, up, eight. Keep breathing. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold here. We're going to hold. I want you feeling the weight in your biceps doing that work while you hold. You got three, two, one. Drop them down. Come up halfway. We're working every inch of that bicep. Eight. Seven. Six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, two. Last one, I want you to hold here. I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can see. We're pushing our door shut. You're bringing it back in. Push out, in, give me eight, seven, six, five. Exhale on the exertion, inhale. Last one, hold here, drop it down, set your form, shoulders are down and back. We're going to do individual arms. So it's right, left, curling all the way up. Right, left. You got this, six more each side. Five, four, three. Two, one more each side. Now double arms, let's speed it up a little. We're gonna go a little quicker, 10. Two more, keep it going. Last one, wonderful. Give me a shoulder roll. Shoulders down and back, brace that core, coming a little bit closer that you can see me. I'm tucking my elbows into my sides. We're gonna work, hit that rotator cuff. So palms are facing the ceiling and you're gonna rotate out, bring it in, out, in. From here, give me eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, Two. On the last one, I want you to hold it open. Bicep curls, nice and wide. 
I know those biceps are tired, but you can do it. We only need more. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to your rotator cuff. We're gonna do that two more times. Bring those weights in, push them out. In, out, you got it. Five more, four, three, two. On the last one, hold them open wide. And you're gonna do that wide bicep curl, bring it up and down. Up. We have eight from here. Inhale, exhale. Three more, three, two, one, last time with our rotator cuff. Set that form if you need to. Shoulders are down and back. Elbows are close to your sides. Weights are together. Push them out. In, out. Give me eight, seven. Keep breathing. Six. Two more. Last one, hold open. Last set of bicep curls. Drop it down, bring them up. Down, up, you got it. Eight from here. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Wonderful, give me a shoulder roll. We are done with our biceps and rotator cuff. We're gonna hit our obliques. You're gonna hold your weights next to you. Take your shoulders, push them up, back and down. And remember, you have soft knees. You're not locking your knees. You're going down to the side for two counts. You don't want to lean forward or backwards. Come back to center. Go to the other side. Pull that belly button into your spine. Reach. Feel those obliques working. Keep breathing. Core is braced. We're doing wonderful. And one more each side. Great. Now you're holding the weights next to you. And what we're going to do is some shoulder shrugs. I like to call them I don't knows. So you're bringing your shoulders up and dropping them down. I see this all the time. I have a 13 year old. I don't know. And drop them down. Good. So shoulder shrugs, nice and slow. Come up and drop them down. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Wonderful. Back into our obliques. Down for two. Up for two. Don't lean into it. Brace that core. So you're up nice and tall. You're not leaning forward. You're not leaning backwards, but you're feeling that pull in your obliques. Keep moving. Don't hold your breath. Last one each side. Great. Shoulders down and back. Shoulder shrugs. I don't know. Drop them down. So bring your shoulders up to your ears. Slowly drop them down. Bring them up to your ears. Drop them down. Keep breathing. Two more. Last one. All right, last time with our oblique. Set that form, soft knees. Go down to the right, nice and slow. Back to center. Left, nice and slow. Remember, you want your core braced and you're not holding your breath. Don't lean into this. We're hitting those obliques. All right, one more each side. Then back into our shoulder shrugs. And then we're going to move on to triceps. So shoulder shrugs, shrug them up to your ears. Drop them down, up to your ears and down. Just make sure your shoulders are down and back. You're keeping good form. Bring them up. Drop them down. It's slow and controlled here. Shrug them. 
Drop them down. I don't know. All right, one more. Drop them down. Wonderful. We're going to move on to our triceps. You're going to take one weight and drop it down to your chair. If you need to grab a drink, now's the perfect time to grab a drink. If not, I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see me. I'm going to hold on to the chair with my left hand. My right hand is going to come down. I'm slightly hinged over at the hips. My core is braced, and I have a flat back. We're going to row. So row it up for 10, 9, 8. Think about that form. Seven, six. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two. On the last one, I want you to hold that elbow nice and high. I'm going to use my other hand as a stopper because I'm going to control that weight. I don't want to come too far forward. I'm going to control it and stop it at my waist. Here we go. It's a tricep kickback. Ten, nine. Squeeze that tricep. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Grab that chair with your left hand. Right hand comes out, back into our row. We're going to do this two more times. So row it back. We have eight more. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Keep that core brace. Six. On the last one, hold it up. I'm moving my hand to use it as a stopper. Tricep kickback. Squeeze that tricep at the top. Squeeze. From here, you have eight, seven, six. Keep breathing. I don't want you to hold your breath. Two more. Last one. Wonderful. Grab the chair with your left hand. Bring that right arm down. Set that core. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. Flat back, bring it back, squeeze. Bring it back and squeeze, wonderful. Give me eight more rows. Give me four more, four, three, two. On the last one, I want you to hold up nice and high. Last time for our kickbacks and we're gonna switch sides. Here we go, kick it back, 10. Nine. Squeeze that tricep at the top. Keep breathing. Four more. Last one. Wonderful. Grab that chair. Come on up. Now, I'm switching to the other side just so you can see me. You're probably behind your chair. So... I'm going to hold on to the chair with that right hand. Now the weight is in my left. I'm going to slightly hinge at the hips so that I have a flat back. My core is braced. My shoulders are down and back. Let's row. Row it back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze. Keep breathing. You got four more. Last one, hold up, elbows are high. I'm using my opposite hand as a stopper. Here we go, control that weight, squeeze that tricep. Squeeze at the top, eight more, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, five, four, two more. Last one, great job, grab the chair. With your right hand, left arm comes down. Make sure that form is good. Shoulders are down and back. You want to make sure you're square. Here we go. Roll it back. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Roll it back and squeeze. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Brace that core. Four, three, two. On the last one, hold up. Using your weight as a stopper, tricep, kick back, kick it back, kick it back, squeeze your tricep at the top. Keep breathing. 
Give three more. Two. One. Great job. I'm grabbing the chair with my hand again. Shoulders down and back. Last time. Row. Row. So you're going to inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Keep going. Give me four more. Three. Two. On the last one, hold up. Here we go. Last set of tricep kickbacks. Kick it back. Squeeze your tricep. Kick it back and squeeze. Keeping that good form. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wonderful. Come on up. Grab that other weight. You are behind the chair. I'm coming to the front so you can see me. Take your shoulders, push them up, back, and down. We're going to do a little bit of shoulder work. So if for some reason you have a heavier weight, please drop down to a lighter weight. We're going to go out to the side. And I want you to notice that I'm staying in line with my shoulders, not going up here. We don't want to hurt ourselves. So when you come out to the side, you're staying in line with your shoulders. All right. Set that form, shoulders down and back, out to the side. Drop it down. Out down. You're only going to give me six more. We're going to do eight of these. Five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful. Now we're going to bring the weight out in front. I still want you to have soft knees, but you're going to stay in line with your shoulders. Drop them down. In line with your shoulders, drop them down. Six more. Five, four, Exhale. Last one. Wonderful. Shoulders down and back. This time you're going to take your palms. The palms are going to face your computer or TV, whatever you're watching. So your palms are facing the computer or the TV. Shoulders are down and back. Staying in line with our shoulders, we're going to lift to the side. We're just rotating our wrists. Give me five more. Four. Three. Keep breathing. Two. One. Great job. Now, shoulders down and back. Make sure that form is good. We're going to do shoulder raises. So the weights are, or palms are facing our hips. And you're going to bring them up, staying in line with the shoulders. Drop them down. Up. Down, six more, five, exhale, inhale down, four more, three, two, one, great job, shoulder roll to this side, but this time our palms are going to stay pointed down, here we go, we're rotating them down, good, so the palms are facing the floor this time, six, Five, stay in line with your shoulders, that's important. Four, three, two, one. Wonderful, we're almost done with the shoulders. Palms facing you, facing the floor, facing down. Bring them up, drop them down, stay in line with your shoulders. Six, five, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more. Last one. Wonderful. Give me a shoulder roll. You guys are doing great. One more thing with our upper body before we move on to a little bit with our lower body. So you can stay facing forward. I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see me. What I'm going to do is, again, I'm hinging at my hips. When I hinge at my hips, it gives me a flat back. If I was to hinge over at my waist, I'd be around it like that. You never want that. So you want to take your shoulders, push them down and back, hinge at the hips. Your butt goes out, you have a flat back. Shoulders are down and back and the weights are dropped down. We're going to do some flies. So again, make sure your weights are light. If the weights are too much, you can just do range of, the, range of motion. But we're going to keep a slight bend in our elbows. We're going to fly back. Fly back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Fly. You got it. Fly. Keep breathing. Four more. Four. Three. 
two, one. Slowly come on up. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna do that two more times. We'll do eight of them. When you're flying back, I really want you to think about having a pencil in between your shoulder blades. And when you fly back, you're trying to squeeze that pencil. All right, set number two. So, and you're over at your hips, butts are out, you have a flat back, your weights are down, your shoulders are down and back. Raise that core, fly back and squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder blades, give me six more. Six, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Five, four, gaze is at the floor. Three, two, one. Good, come on up nice and slow. You don't want to pop up fast. Catch your breath, take a little bit of a break. We're going to do our last set of those. So again, when you roll back, when you fly back, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Here we go, hinging over at our hips. Butts are back, backs, backs are flat, shoulders are down and back. Let's fly back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Fly back and squeeze. Give me six more. Keep breathing. Last one. Wonderful, come on up nice and slow. We're gonna take our weights and we're gonna drop them down. We're gonna do a little bit with our lower body now. So you're gonna be behind the chair, but I'm gonna be next to the chair so that you can see me. You can hold on to the chair, set your form. Shoulders are down and back, core is braced. We're gonna kick our right leg out to the side. And you're gonna lift that leg as high as you feel comfortable. Kick it out, bring it in, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that leg down. Now with the same leg, keeping your toes pointed towards the floor, and I'll turn to the side so you can see me, we're going to go ahead and kick back, squeezing our glute. So kick back, squeeze that glute. Get back and squeeze. Give me eight more. Keep breathing. Four more. Squeeze that glute. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Drop it down. I'm going to turn forward so you can see me with the same leg. We're kicking out to the side and kick out or as high as you feel comfortable. So, but just keep it nice and controlled. Eight more, eight. Three more. Last one, good. Turning to the side, working our glute again. Let's kick it back. Toes facing the carpet or the floor. Squeezing our glute at the top. Kick it back, squeeze. Four more, four, three, two, one. Great, last time around, we're doing three sets of everything today. Setting our form, kick it out to the side, bring it in, out, in, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. You're doing absolutely fabulous, I'm sure. I wish I could see you guys. All right, toes, point it towards the floor. Take it back and squeeze. This is our last one, then we're gonna switch sides. Give me eight more, keeping that good form. Seven, six, five, four. Squeeze that glute at the top. Three, I don't want you holding your breath. Two, one, wonderful. March that out. I'm gonna go the other side. You're probably behind your chair, which is fine. And I'm gonna come over here so you can see me. I'm gonna hold on to the chair with my 
Right hand, left leg swings out and in, out, in, eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one, great, now, toes pointed towards the ground, kick it back, let's work that glute, kick it back, squeeze, back and squeeze, you have eight from here, seven, six, five, squeeze that glute, keep breathing, two more, last one, wonderful, we're going out to the side again, Fix your form. I felt my form go off, so I'm going to make sure my shoulders are down and back. I'm bracing my form, going out to the side. Out to the side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now kick it back. Squeeze your glute. Toes are pointed down. Kick it back and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one, great job, out to the side, this is our last time around, out and in, only come up as high as you feel comfortable, this is your workout, five, Two more. Last one. Great job. Set that form. We're going back and squeezing our glute. Kick it back and squeeze. Toes are pointed down. Squeeze. You have eight from here. One, two, three, don't leave me. Five more. Four. Squeeze that glute. Great job, just march that out, wonderful. We're gonna to come to the front of the chair. I want you to take your weights and just slide them under the chair if they're on top of your chair. Come to the front, we're gonna do our sit to stands. You're gonna have a seat. I want you to hold your hands next to you. We used to cross, we're not crossing anymore. Shoulders, down and back. Sit to stands, we're gonna come up for 10. Go at your pace, you can pace me, you can go faster, you can go slower. Again, it's your workout. Bring it up, weights in the heels. Down, up, down. We have eight from here. Eight, seven, six, five. Brace that core. Four, three, two, one. Have a seat, catch your breath. We're gonna do that two more times. All righty, get ready. Let's do 10. Nine, weights in your heels. Brace that core. Keep breathing. We got five more. Two more, last one, wonderful smile, these are fun. All right, last set of our sit to stands. Set that core, embrace that core. Let's make this last set of our sit to stands the best ones. Let's do it, up, down, up, down. Eight more, eight, seven, weights in your heels and you're breathing. Three more, two more, last one, have a seat, great job. One more exercise to do, we're going to do our chair lunges. We're going to do one set of our chair lunges on each side. So I'm going to up them this week to 12 because they're fun, right? All right, take your... Right leg, swing it out. 
Left leg is behind you. Nice wide lunge position. We're only doing one each side, so we're doing 12. Let's do it. 12, 11, keep breathing. Eight more. Four more, you got this. Three, two, one. Wonderful, have a seat. Last one, going into a little bit of overtime, swing that leg out, keeping our right leg behind us, left leg over the chair, holding onto the chair with your left hand. Let's lunge up for 12. Core is brace. We only have eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, starting to feel it. Two, and one. Wonderful, have a seat. You did fantastic. Grab a drink if you need one. As you can tell by the music, we're into our cool down. So let's stretch it out, cool it down. I want you to take your butts. Your butts are on the middle of the chair. You don't wanna be on the edge. You don't wanna be all the way back because I want your core braced here. You're nice and strong. Your shoulders are up, back and down. You're gonna take a deep breath in. Stretch up out of that rib cage. And let that breath out. Another deep breath in, fill up your lungs. And let that breath out. As you are letting your breath out, I want you to hinge forward and reach behind you. Grab the back of that chair. Give me a stretch. And release. Bring your right hand over your left. Give yourself a great big hug. If you can, with a flat palm, pat yourself on the back. Job well done today. Yay, it's Friday. Even though every day we really feel the same right now. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Now, bring your left hand over your right giving yourself a great big hug again, and a pat on the back. And let's take a great big deep breath in, and I want you to stretch up out of that rib cage and lean to one side, really reach. Deep breath in, back to middle, let it out to the other side. Really reach up out of that rib cage, stretching, Deep breath in, back to middle. Let's hit our triceps. So drop one arm down, it doesn't matter which one. And you're just gonna stretch the tricep out. If you don't wanna push on anything, you can just pinch your fingers down your spine. Do whatever's comfortable for you. Yeah, bring that arm up and give me some wrist circles. Circle your wrists, go the other direction. Taking that arm out in front of you, bring it across your body. Give me a stretch, making sure your shoulder is away from your ears and you're not pushing on any joints. So if it's comfortable to hold down here, you can hold right down here on your forearm if it feels better. Up here towards your tricep, go ahead and pull up there. Just don't push on any of your joints. And release, let's stretch out that other tricep. Again, if you're not comfortable, Giving your tricep a push, you can inch that tricep down your spine. Whatever works best for you. You just want to feel that stretch in your tricep. Bring your arm up, wrist circles. Go the other direction. Bring that arm out in front, across your body. Again, make sure your shoulder is away from your ears and you're not pressing on any joints. You're going to hold where it feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's down here. Maybe it's up here closer to your tricep. And let's open up our arms nice and wide. I want your thumbs pointed towards the ceiling. Now take your thumbs and rotate them down towards the carpet. Rotate them up again. Rotate them down. Now we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna drop them down. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Tuck that chin into your chest. 
Slowly bring your head back to neutral. Right ear, right shoulder. Flex your opposite hand and take each individual fingertip to your thumb. Drop that arm down. Slowly come back to neutral. These are not fast movements. And you're going to take your ear to shoulder. Flexing your right hand. And you're going to take each individual fingertip to your thumb. Drop that arm down. Slowly come back to neutral. Give me some shoulder rolls, just the shoulders, up, back, and down. One more. Wonderful. Moving on to our lower body. I want you to bring your leg up. Now, if you have knee issues, you're gripping underneath right here to pull that leg up. If not, you can give that leg a little bit of a hug. Again, knee issues, I want you grabbing under here. Now you're going to take your foot and you're going to point and flex. So you're going to point it towards your computer screen, your TV, flex it toward the ceiling. Point, flex, point, flex. Big circles and go the other direction. Drop your heel to the ground, hanging over at your hips. Stretch out your hamstring. Now, some of us aren't very flexible, and just reaching out like this, you can feel a stretch. You're really flexible and want a deeper stretch. You can touch your toes. It's up to you. Again, everyone's different with their flexibility. Now, come on up, bring that leg in, and you're gonna swing that leg out like you're getting out of a big bathtub. Dropping the other leg behind you, it looks like we're in a lunge position. You're gonna grab the chair, with your right hand, left arm's gonna come up and you're gonna lean back and you're gonna feel your hip open and you're gonna feel stretch in that quad. So lean back until you feel that stretch again. Everyone's a little bit different with their flexibility. And come back up, grab the back of the chair, stretching out our back, taking nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. back to center. Nice wide legs you're going to take and you're going to push, stretching your inner thighs. Again, everyone's different. So you position and push those legs until you feel your stretch. You're still up nice and tall, taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And heel toe to come back to center. Once you're at center, Lift that leg up. Again, if you have knee issues, we're gripping underneath. If not, you can give that leg a hug. Now pointing out, you're gonna point your foot towards the computer, flex towards the ceiling, point and flex. Foot circles. Go the other direction. Drop your heel to the ground. You're hinging over at your hips. Stretching out your hamstring. Again, for some of you, just hinging and reaching like this, you're gonna feel your hamstring stretch. For others, you'll get a deeper stretch and feel it a little bit more if you can by touching your toes. And if you can't touch your toes, don't feel that. Some of us are just not flexible yet. You'll get there. Now, bring that leg in. You're gonna take that leg, swing it like you're getting out of a big bathtub, a big vehicle. And drop the other leg behind you again. We look like we're in our lunge position, like we did those chair lunges. We're gonna bring our arm up, our right arm up, and lean back. Feeling that stretch in your hips and your quad. Slowly come back to center, grab the back of the chair, stretch out your back. Keep breathing, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Come back to the middle. We're gonna bring our feet together. And you're gonna sit back in the chair, not all the way, about middle. Let's take a big deep breath in and let that breath out nice and slow. Another deep breath in, fill up your lungs. 
Let that breath out nice and slow. Push your shoulders up, back, and down. And you guys did a wonderful job. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that everyone has a fantastic weekend. I miss you all. I can't wait for us to be together in the Y again. But in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying these um, live classes. I'll see you next week.